India, a country bursting with colour and vitality. India has made me feel so alive. With warm weather all year round and a low cost of living, 20, 30. Could this be the perfect place to retire? As they say, the years fell away. <laughs> wow, this is superb. Inspired by the blockbuster film, I've lost my stirrups. nine famous faces are spending a month in Udaipur, oh, lovely. India's magical city of lakes. I'm so out of my comfort zone. Oh! To see if they could spend their golden years here. The problem with getting older, we all start getting highly competitive about what's wrong with us. It's too hard. Will the challenges of India prove a step too far? Gee whiz. Oh, that's putrid. This will be a nightmare good shopping. You'll be a wreck when you go home. <laughs> oh, 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 dear me. Where are we going, anyway? Or could this incredible country be somewhere new to call home? India is chaos. Hey! Which is vibrancy, which is possibility, which is life. been in India for almost a month. With only a week to go, they're up early and enjoying the benefits of life in Udaipur. Put your hands here. Do lightly, okay? Look up. Do lightly. Mm, perfect. There's so much to love about India. The colour and the bountiful beauty and the kindness and friendliness. And a month seemed like a really long time, and yet it feels like a nanosecond. It has just gone by. Welcome. There's still so much to do and so much to see. Each and every one of us has come here with um, our own independence. So to put us all together has been quite a challenge. But I think all our rough edges have been knocked off, and we're now in harmony. Making the most of the time they have left, some of the group want to go on a final outing. Since we've been here, we've not, we've not visited any temples. They're heading north to visit one of India's most ancient cities. We're going to a place called Pushka. What is that, Pushka? It's, it's a religious place. It's um, a pilgrimage to go on. Pilgrimage? Yeah. You can go and pray for... People have passed on. Yeah. I think it's that sort of thing. Well, a bit like a church or a cathedral, you go and you pray. Yeah. So it's a long trip then, is it? Hi, Yes. Maybe we should be praying for us to come back safe. No. <laughs> <laughs> People do seem to turn to religion a lot more when they're older than they do when they're young. And is that because you think the, the, the end is nigh and, you know, you know uh, where am I going to go? Uh, I don't know now. <laughs> so I better start praying. I think it's a shame if you don't have a I look at their religion and what it's about, yeah. the Hindus, so yeah. I still can't get to grips with it, but I know they keep saying it's one God. I thought they were all separate gods, they believe they, in. They, no. We better ask Selena. I'm not talking about religion at this time. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> Looking to expand their knowledge of Indian spirituality, Sid, Susan and the Crankies are getting ready for their overnight trip to Pushkar. Now I want my trousers. See, my father-in-law taught me a great trick. Look at that. Never sort of do your trousers, roll them. They'll be in a better state. And it does work. Except in posh hat, I think. Right, that's me. Travel in light. Well, I just can't wait to be with my baby. It's in light. Detox tea, which is brilliant. Oh, look, Echinacea, she's got everything. You think we're going to catch any pneumonia? Well, uh, you, you've got to go prepared. We're only going up the road for a day. Said. Come in! Right. Ready. As Susan, Sid and the Crankies set off on their spiritual journey... And be a good boy. I will, no, Mummy. I will, Daddy. No asking. Are we there? Yeah. Are we there? <laughs> I've got the toilet roll for the road. <laughs> Former jockey Bob is searching for healing of a more physical kind. 
On we go. I came to India hoping I could find a cure for my back, to be honest. Being a jockey, you break a lot of bones. Every morning I wake up, especially on cold, damp days, in quite a bit of pain. I suppose it is a little bit of arthritis as well. Hoping to come away feeling an awful lot better. But we'll see in a minute or two. Thank you. India is the home of Ayurvedic medicine. It aims to balance body and mind through diet, lifestyle and herbal remedies. Hello, Doctor. Hello. Bob is seeing Dr. Gupta, a qualified practitioner who runs the clinic. When we start the uh, treatment or back pain, yeah. so specific some procedures are required. And today, what are you going to do with me? Today, I want to give you one enema. An enema? Oh, yeah, go. that is not painting. Oh, Definitely, that is not, not painful. Training. That's it. Yeah. That is one of the most important thing to treat uh, back pain. Yeah. Just enjoy that. And, oh, uh, enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Why not? Bob's therapy starts with steaming to relax and loosen the muscles and alleviate aching joints. About 35 years ago, I used to spend hours in these when I was in America riding. I could take off about um, five pounds in the hour. After 30 minutes in the steamer, he's ready for his next treatment. Is that the enema? Yes. Oh, my God. Don't worry about it. What have you talked me into? <laughs> no, no, no. Please take your position, please. What position? Yeah, that is good. Just lay down properly. I will give you that basti. Basti, or Ayurvedic enema, uses oils and herbal concoctions which are inserted via a tube into the colon. Take deep breath, please. To help flush out any toxins from the body. Oh my God. No, no problem. No problem. Yes. It is thought to be an effective treatment for many conditions, including gastric problems, back pain, and arthritis. Yes. That's it, it's done. Yeah. Yeah, how are you feeling? I'm feeling all right, actually. You know, um, didn't like the insertion at all. Hopefully. Only wait for uh, some time, and then to and go. Then run. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. I was absolutely petrified when I saw that come through the door in his hand and I thought, oh my God, it works pretty quick and um, I'm gonna have to get up now and um, go to the loo or we're going to have a little bit of an accident. After a five hour drive north, Sid, Susan and the Crankies have arrived in the holy city of Pushkar. I think we'll see a snake, Sharma. Well, I hope we don't see a snake. Yeah. Oh. What's the matter? Went down a hole. <laughs> what? Right. Went down a hole. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here's a cucumber. Look. Hi. Oh, Hi. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in here. Oh. With its 500 temples and sacred lake, it's an important pilgrimage site for Hindus. Are these the holy steps here, from here down? These are the holy steps. Right. Pushkar's lake is believed to have appeared when Lord Brahma dropped his lotus flower and is understood by Hindus to have curative and medicinal powers. Hello. Namaste. Namaste. How are you? Good. Namaste. To make the most of their visit, they're meeting local guide Govinda. Welcome to Holy Pushkar. Can I sit down with you? Yes, yes, please. Please yeah. join me. Pushkar is the main holy lake for the Hindus. So people come here over the year around the world to take the dip into the lake, to do sort lots of ceremonies. What is that man actually doing? Every evening he comes and he take the dip into the lake. So this is like a uh, belief. And he thinks he's that. a seal at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> In India, there's so many different religions. You know, it doesn't matter as long as you believe and it helps you. Uh, I'm happy with my God. When tragedies came into my life, it was my Christianity that pulled me through. It just, you know, got me through all those bad times. 
pilgrims visit the holy waters to wash away their sins and offer prayers to family that have passed away. Is there, is there a prayer you pray for them? Like, we go to church and we pray like this, God bless our mom, our yes. dad. Actually, we offer to our ancestors that holy water. And we fill the water in our hand like this, and that water gives a long, peaceful incarnation of the life. Should we go for a walk? Thank you. I think we could both yes, afford friends, to have a little prayer. I shared 28 amazing years with my late husband. Simon was my everything. You know, I think of him every minute of every day. And when I experience something extremely beautiful, it almost hurts because I want him to see it too. Everybody deals with death in different ways. My first son, Paul, is in my thoughts when, when I come to places like this. So we'll bow our heads and we'll keep just a, a minute silence and just say some things, yeah? Yeah. Right. Paul drifted away, he was in trouble. Started smoking when he was 14. Then the smoking turned into cannabis, cannabis into the other stuff. Unfortunately, he, he, uh, he chased the dragon, as they say, and uh, went off to Bangkok and uh, died in a hotel room, yeah. There's not a day goes by that I don't think of him. He's still with me, yeah. I just uh, sort of prayed that he was at peace. You felt the message went. No, I did. Definitely. Yeah. Delivered well and truly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're such a sweetheart. Sorry? You're yeah. such a sweetheart. <laughs> you are. Yeah. You're a sweetheart of a Thank lady. Thank you. So shall you. Sweetheart of a lady. <laughs> yeah. Back at the Udaipur Haveli, Bob's filling in the rest of the group on his day at the clinic. Went and had a massage, steam after that. And then the next thing, I'm lying there, hinny walks with rubber gloves on. No. With this no. long silver tube. Oh, don't want to know. Don't say us. Don't put tell me us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it went up somewhere. Well, there's only one place it could on yes, here. It yes, it went up somewhere, squeezed it in. I've been on the loo ever since. <laughs> <laughs> I would love colonic irrigation. It's terribly good for you. With friends like these, who needs an enema? That's what I mean. <laughs> Stanley, have you not had colonic irrigation? <laughs> Stephanie, stop it. Not. Just stop it. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> It's an early start in Pushkar. Hey, slow down, Susan. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There's two old men behind. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Before returning to the Haveli, Susan, Sid, and the Crankies have been invited by their guide Govinda and his wife Priya to join their family at a lakeside ceremony to bless their marriage. Beautiful smell. This is for you two. Yeah. Yeah. Every year we Yes. Yes. We met here. Yes. You did? Yeah. Did you? Yes, yes. Here in this yeah, place? Yeah. Eight years ago. Was it love at first sight? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, was like... it was like a love story. A love oh. story. Next month, we are 48 years married. Okay, 48. Yes. Okay. Congratulations. And you're still on your honeymoon. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you're still on your honeymoon. I quite believe in fate, you know. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Ian is a smashing person. He looks after me. Uh, We've had happy years together, and I love her. Why have we come down here now? Now we do the puja of Shakti, and that puja means we'll give the good life of our marital life and a good future life. As part of the ceremony, prayers are recited and offerings are thrown into the holy waters. Thank you. As the family ask for good fortune, and for blessings on the couple's marriage for the year ahead. Om, 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 om.
I think the bonding Jeanette and I have now is stronger than it's ever been. When we were both 18, we didn't really know if what we had was love. Maybe it was infatuation. Who knows? I think she needs to go for a pee. <laughs> As the years went on, a deep love formed, much deeper than I ever imagined you could have, you could have, because I never had it really at home when I was a child. My mother and father, had they been born today, they would have been divorced. But it wasn't done. They just, especially in a, in a Church of Scotland family, there was divorce was taboo. Because it would bring it would bring the family down. It was a disgrace. The love went, so I never really saw that. Jess made my life, without a doubt. She is my life. Thank you so much for joining us. Really? Okay. We are very happy to do that ritual with you and your group. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, well, we wish but you all the very, yeah, very best. Yes, very best. Thank Thank you. And Sam. Have a nice Good life too. together, have as nice you say. Have a nice That's day. on you. Yes. Sabina, we, yes, you're coming with us, Peter? Yes. Yes. That's great. Oh. Here we go. Back in Udaipur, Selina, Stanley and Peter are preparing for a final Hindi lesson. Their teacher, Shuba, has invited the group to come and have a lesson at her home, 20 minutes north of the city. Hello. Namaste. Hi, Stanley. How are you? Shuba, we meet again. How lovely to see you. Whoa, 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 whoa. And what a fantastic house. Oh. This is Is my father-in-law. Yeah. Do come. Thank you. According to tradition, Shuba lives with her husband's extended family. Will you be able to fit yourself in between? Well, I'm rather large, but I'll do my best. <laughs> and do you all yes. live together? Yes. Your father-in-law, your mother-in-law? My husband. Your husband? Uh, me. Yes. And my son. <laughs> when I got married, well, I came come. here. See and this. since that time, we're living together only. How do you say, hello, I am so pleased to be here? We say hello only. Oh, hello, that's so easy. I, somewhere we take your language also. <laughs> hello, and what about, I am very pleased to be here? मुझे यहाँ आके मुझे यहाँ आके बहुत अच्छा लगा मुझे यहाँ आके बहुत अच्छा लगा बहुत अच्छा बहुत अच्छा what what did this gentleman do what did he work my father -in -law? as your father-in-law he is a pathologist a pathologist yes can I ask how old he is ah uh, he's seventy is he yeah <laughs> full nice. head of hair yeah, <laughs> yeah. she take care Oh, yes. Care of you. The most what... important one to me would be I'm having heart attack. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's a good one. <laughs> I don't think his mum are going to use that that often. <laughs> Might use it once. <laughs> once is enough. She looks no, after you very well, doesn't that's she? That's why he looks so young. <laughs> yes, like, this, is, this is what it is. This is a normal way yeah, of Indian life. Yeah, things, things, things are going, passing on from generation to generation. I see. Here, they respect age because they take in their old people, they look after their old people. Uh, Shuba said that she was learning in comparison to her father-in-law, who she felt was learned. And this respect has gone right the way through the family. And families throughout India are like that. We want to say to you, Bohot, Bohot, Ajivava. <laughs> Nearly. Bohot. Very much is what I want. That's what I want. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you again. Well, thanks, well, in Britain, you say, oh, that old so-and-so, and dismiss it. Oh, it's lovely and warm, isn't it? Now? Absolutely fantastic. Oh, marvellous. And that's what's refreshing about India, really, and the Indian way of life. Bye. Thank you very much. Arriving back from Pushkar, the senior citizens have just a few days left together before heading home. See you later, Kuru. <laughs> sure. See ya. With a return to the UK on the horizon, Stephanie is making the most of the last opportunities of lakeside living. 
Oh, you can find little places to oh, hide, my can't darling, you? What a wonderful excuse I will have to not carry on with this terrible drawing. Come and sit down. Yes, that is fantastic. No, it's rubbish. See, you've got ideas now there, haven't you? You could sort of like, because even Michelangelo and all the other famous ones... No, you don't ones, understand. That's as good as I get. No, no <laughs> I don't... Their sketches like that would go for millions of pounds. I love the way you think. <laughs> I really have enjoyed being around Sid. He's just so down to earth. So many talents and so little boast. I don't know. I, I'm also complicated. And you seem to just sort of take things very much as they are. That's it's... it. Live for the moment. Live for the moment. Now. Mm. Yeah, that is true. I want a cup of tea. <laughs> This afternoon, Selina, Stephanie and Susan are dropping in on a new friend who lives in the heart of the bustling old town. Thank you. This is going to be lovely. You know, if you come to India, you have to see what else is there, rather than concentrating on, you know, the most immediate things, the noise, everything else. And the moment you do that, the moment you lift your eyes upwards, there it is, this, this cinema of colour. I ate them tuk-tuks. Expat Dominique has made a permanent home for himself in Udaipur. Dominique, he's restored this house right in the heart of it all. Very refreshing. Hello! Oh, very cool. Hello! Very gracious. Yes! So please, welcome home. <laughs> Within the old city walls, traditional houses can be renovated to provide many of the comforts of home. Come on, man. This is gorgeous, yes. isn't it? Would you like to have a glass of wine? That would be lovely. This is just... Do you like it? Oh, I think it's exquisite. <laughs> right. Stephanie, you're a bit far away, but my heart toi, is... toi, toi. <laughs> Cheers, It's a delight to find you here with your appreciation of the beauty of everything around you. Yeah, it's, a, it's your little paradise. Oh, it's, a, it's kind of an elementary living, but at the same time, it, I like the, the way that it's simple. Do you still love India as yes, much now it. as you did when yes, you first I do. came? Yes, I do. There are many sites which are so vibrant, so interesting. Uh, tonight we're going to jump into sound and music. Uh, the Sufi concert we're having tonight, uh, Sufi music is a Muslim music. Oh, that's beautiful. Here, I love the simplicity, and I love the way that he has embraced India. I found work here and friends here. Oh! <laughs> oh, come on. This evening, Dominique has invited the rest of the group, along with his friends and neighbors from the local community, to enjoy a night of music and dancing. Please have a seat. <laughs> There's an 86-year-old grandmother, her son-in-law, her daughter, her granddaughter, her great-grandchildren, and there they all are sitting there. It's, um, it's very special. Are you ready? Everything is all set? So I'm very happy to welcome Mastana Group performing uh -huh. along with a tradition of Sufi music uh -huh. who dated in India a thousand years back. Wow. In a way, I think the energy of the house is also because of them only. Sufism, the mystical branch of Islam, is today most widely known for its devotional poetry and music. According to the rule of Sufi, we have to start by name of God, Allah. I would never have thought that this month was going to be a comparative religion course. There are so many people searching for their contact with the divine, God, whatever you like to say, a power higher than ourselves. It doesn't have to be God, God. It doesn't have to be, definitely, it doesn't have to be a man in sandals sitting on a cloud. <laughs> It's like a story, they're telling a story. And uh, you know, it's, it's a bit like Indian karaoke because they're reading it out of a book. Yeah. 
version of the four tenors. For me, it went on a bit, but I'll I tell you what, the one thing that I did love was the instruments. So there's from the youngest to the oldest, all mixing together and all happy to be together. Certainly no exclusion. Old is welcome, it seems to me. It's deep faith every time. Not our tepid C of B stuff. This is... This is beating. That was beautiful. It done half go on, but oh boy, that's joyous stuff. The senior citizens have only a couple of days left of their Indian adventure. Hello, Sid. The old steak and kidney. How are you? Oh, do you know I could do a steak and kidney? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? A bacon and egg sandwich would do me fine this morning. HP sauce. Yeah, HP sauce. Hello. Good morning, Stanley. Good morning, good morning. All good? Yes. Catching up on the news from England. Oh, yes. Your Boris is, uh, your Boris is at it again. Boris has been absolutely brilliant. I wouldn't expect you to say anything else. He has got it right. So there we go. Oh, Rose. right, yeah. Stanley, of course, he's my hero. I never thought, you know, I'd get on with a politician. See, I, I was brought up in a working class family, so it was the Daily Mirror. As the time went on, you know, we got to know each other better. Did you know that there was an American criminal called Joe Bananas? And so there was a headline in the Washington Post one day. They caught him, you see, and they said, yes, we have Joe Bananas. Uh, oh, brilliant. Him. For a man who yeah, tells lots of that. jokes, Sid, you you're think... sometimes slow in picking mine up. No, no, I've got the joke. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not really a joke, is it? I mean, it's just... Stanley, Stanley. Oh, Sid, oh, it's a joke. Yes! <laughs> oh, I get, I get the joke, Stanley. Yeah. Okay, good. yeah, but your jokes was what killed musical. Thank you very much. Where are you guys going today? Mind your own business. <laughs> Come on. Bye. See you later. See you going later. in the foot pot? See you later. And yeah, we're going in the foot pot. This morning, some of the group are heading into town for a few last minute errands. Yeah. What are you going to buy? She wants to go to the jewellery shop. That sounds disaster. Good afternoon. All right. Ever since being in India, for Stephanie, there's one visit she's been keen to make. So today, she's taking Susan with her on a last mystical trip. So this is it. To see palmist and astrologer, Manahar Singh. Gosh. Oh. Oh. I thought it would be lovely, and so did Susie, to have our readings done. Welcome, Thank welcome, you. welcome, Thank welcome, you. welcome. I mean, I'll read Tatler or Vogue and I'll read the mm, astrological charts, but, uh, and I do believe in the star signs. I haven't had much faith in astrological readings, but I thought, well, maybe it's different here. You are here to know about your future by palm reading, yes. isn't it? Yes. This is a different story, this is a different story. Yes. By using both the palm, we come to the conclusion. Great. Now, every human being on this earth is coming from a particular place to a particular place for a particular time and goes back to a particular place. In India, palmistry has been studied as a science for thousands of years. It's believed a person's hands can reveal much about their personality. There was a time which he had double-minded, unable to take decision. But you have crossed that stage now. Now you have decided one way. Isn't it? You look at this particular second line. Here's the lifeline, the second line. There is someone who supports you. 
the power, hidden power. Okay. Okay. This is lifelong. Now, now we'll come to the mm -hmm. chart now. Okay. Okay. With the help of some 21st century technology, it's possible to match your time of birth to influential planets to help predict your future. In the year 2006 to 2009, what you were feeling? Um, not, was, not comfortable? No, not comfortable. Very, very critical and crucial period? Very crucial period. Yeah. You see, the most of the crisis period you have already crossed. You have already crossed. I have come a long way in seven years. I was surviving, really. I want to do much more than survive. Long liberty of life is there, long really? age. But I just believe I have so much more living to do. Now the golden period of your life starts now. Golden period of your life. What do you think? Isn't it? Mm -hmm. This particular time is up 2018. Okay. Then, then the golden period of your life starts. What you have told me is very insightful. Thank you. You got my point? Yeah, I really do. Thank you. Nice meeting. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Namaste. 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 <laughs> I'm thrilled I came here today. <laughs> it was delightful to tell me that um, from 2018, things are going to be really, really different and, and really, really fabulous. And I kind of feel I, I'm, I'm quite overwhelmed by that. That's just a great feeling for me. Things are going to get better and better. Stephanie is looking for some insight of her own. This is what the palm says. Yeah. Stern determination. Stern determination. Yes. Yeah. You take in advance. I'm practical and then make stupid yes, decisions with practical. my heart. Yes. I see. Yes. And I take it. Yeah, take it. But I want to know what the future is. Well, go through your chart. OK. You will like to lead luxurious life always. You don't compromise with the circumstances. <laughs> I want a hot bath, I have a hot bath. Yes. Try to be polite. That's a hard one for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Now, this particular chart speaks that you will get e easy money. High five. You're a nice man. That will multiply. Without, without calculation, that will multiply. I like this. Yes, I like yes. this. A in lot. favor. In favor. Good. In favor. Good. Up to 25th of June 2021. So I'll get a whole load of dosh yes. till 21. Okay. It'll be too much for me to walk through. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Things are favorable, favorable, favorable. Wow. Can I give you a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You may be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice day. Thank you. And you. Well, how was yours? Great. Whether he just makes you me. feel good or what. There are things that I've felt in my heart. He gave affirmation to yes. that, which was really exciting. Good. With an anniversary on the horizon, Ian and Jeanette are looking to their own future. In the movies, they say, jump in a taxi, follow that car. Here you jump in, you go, follow that car. Follow that car. <laughs> <laughs> we laugh every day of, every day of our life, we laugh. Yeah. We're together 24 hours of the day. Well, we don't argue. Don't like your farting very much. <laughs> <laughs> things like, my dear. <laughs> Before heading home, they're on the hunt for a special anniversary gift. Ooh. This doesn't look like your yeah, bazaar, does it? No. This looks a bit posh. This is a wee bit posher than a bazaar. Jeanette, there's your elephant she wanted. Rajasthan is the center of India's jewelry industry. Oh, my goodness. It's a mecca for people looking to buy quality, hand-cut precious stones at a bargain price. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm looking for a bracelet. Any particular design that you know of? Well, a plain one, not, not big, not chunky like this. And it's yeah. our... And it's wedding anniversary next month. Sorry? It's our wedding, wedding anniversary. Wedding anniversary. Ah, congratulations. That's amazing. 48 years married. That's, that's, that's more than... Yes, more than you get more, for murder. That's more than my age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got engaged between Asia and, and Europe, Europe and the on boss. the Bosphorus. Wow. See? Yeah, on a boat in the middle. On a boat in the middle. That's the last romantic thing I did. <laughs> <laughs> Other than coming to Udaipur, I believe. <laughs> 
The quality of emeralds is exceptional in that. Oh, how much is that one? This one, as it is, is 1,206 pounds. No, no. Too much? Too much. The moment we reduce a few links, maybe we'll, we can get it down to around 900. I'll buy it. Oh, thank you, darling. Oh, that's beautiful. For Our wedding anniversary. Really? Oh, that's great. How long has it been? 48 years. My God. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> We've had a lovely life together. We still are having a nice day yeah. together. <laughs> many more years to come. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. It's a different type of love when you get older. It's not what you were when you were 21, you know. <laughs> it's, but it's, 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 a, it's, it's the same love. Love is love. You know, but it doesn't mean you, you're kissing and canoodling all the time, you know. When you get to 70, I think the secret is thinking about each other. And, uh, what do you say, worrying in case you lose one. But you know, I think when, the longer you are together, the longer you want to be together. <laughs> I'm so soft, me, I'm daft. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Thank you. I hope you have another 50 more years. Oh, I'm going to do that, but thank you very much. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. That's a little memory of India for me. Across town, Sid's arrived at the opticians. Wow, look at that. Of course, Sid's right. With glasses available in India at half the price of the UK, he's making the most of it. Wow, that straight away, that's... Yeah. You feel a little dizzy, so come yeah, and yeah. I'll show you. Oh, wow, yeah, you're right, wow. Gonna take a bit of getting used to, I yeah, think. Yeah. I look like Stanley. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. a bit slimmer. Yeah. <laughs> Eight, ten. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're supposed to number plates at 25 yards, aren't you, sir? Yeah, that's right. RJ27CA1548. That's it. Bingo. Get in there. Uh, Bing. Bing. Oops, sorry. That would be the blind leading the blind. Yeah. Fantastic, your eyes. What are you Thank you, driver. Thank you very much indeed. Good afternoon. Well, you get your new glasses. What, you can't you notice? <laughs> I like them. I just hope she really likes them. Ah, huh? oh, there we go. FaceTime. Right. Hiya, Angel. What have you got on your face? <laughs> They're my new glasses. Don't you like them? Um, don't bother coming home. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love Cherie to be here with me. I think this is the longest we'll have been away for, from each other for a long, long time. We've been married 42 years now. I'm a bit still wobbly, but he said it'd be like that for about a week. They're quite big, though. Might be the picture, see? Cherie is the light of my life. I mean, she's 13 years younger than me. She has kept me young. And, and she's always telling me to cut the hairs up my nose. <laughs> she's always trying to say, I don't want to be married to an old man. And uh, I think maybe that's it. Maybe she, she sort of kept me as young as I am. All right, then. I love you. I love Missing you. Too. you too. Yeah, you take care. <laughs> Bye. Bye. To celebrate their final day, tomorrow Stanley's arranged for the group to play a cricket match against some of the locals they've met during their stay. So, Stanley, what are we doing? OK, well, we, I think, we're obviously we're not going to field a team. I can't remember. No, but get this, what are we doing oh, now? Oh, here, we're going to try and get some kit for those of our side. But who are on our side? Okay. We haven't got 11 people. No, of course we can't no, no. have a real we cricket We won't team. have a team. We will get some people who will join in collectively a game of cricket. It'll be a, the teams will consist of some people of our side, some people of their side. So in other we'll words, we're just we'll a few, few people going to There's bowl no, and a few no, people going to bat no, and it's going to be rough. This afternoon, he's recruited Stephanie to help get the team kitted out. What? Oh, watch out. Hello. Hey, hello, hello, How hello, hello. Um, well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. This lovely lady. Yeah knows an awful lot okay. about shopping. And they are absolutely mad about cricket. You can't turn on the television without getting 50 or 18 different programs totally dedicated to cricket. OK, may we see your cricket trousers and in small, medium and large? That's good. Perfect. So we're going to try and go out with a bang. We are going to, could you believe it, organise a game of cricket. What is this? This, this is, is the double extra... 
This is double extra, extra large. Extra large. Okay, put those on, Stanley, because if you can get them on, then then it's going to be all right. For I don't want to get them on. I don't want to get them dirty. Doesn't matter. This will be easily fed to you. Pretty very, good. Very brave move. That was good. <laughs> okay. And maybe we see a couple of cricket skirts because maybe exactly. we'll buy trousers. Exactly. Girls do nowadays. wear the trousers nowadays. <laughs> of course, one of the really nice aspects of all this um, is actually we're in a little kind of community. Those will do for Peter, that's for sure. So we need uh, one more of those, please. This is for Ian. And they are extremely good fun to be with. And the wonderful thing from my point of view is that I very much enjoy the girls. When I say girls, I mean they are, well, obviously they are still girls, but they're, how should I put it, um, girls who, who, who've been girls for some time, as it were. What about... You're meant to say how nice I look. Oh, you do? Don't I look And uh, My good. question is, what, no about, skirts. what about the issue of uh, abdominal protector? What do you mean, what's it, Cam? Yeah, the box. Yes. Can you ask him? Can we have five boxes, please? Have. Well, then you can pass them around. No, you can't. Don't be so horrid. I'm not going to go, you know. Well, any of the girls need one. No. <laughs> anyway, some of them, of course, some of the ladies, probably have insights which I don't which I don't have, and that's good, too. Is that big enough? Of it's big enough. Is it? I don't know. We'll take those four and another four. Normally, I hyperventilate if I have to stay shopping more than 20 minutes. And you're nearly hyperventilating. I am nearly hyperventilating okay. now. OK, we've done it, Stanley. We've done it. Well done. Well, we've Thank got it all. Thank you so much. All Thank us. you. We're good. This is good. Again. Hello, Mr. Ball. How, How are, are you? you? Fine, nice fine. to see you again. Keen to keep working on his back problems, this evening Bob has booked in a final session with yoga teacher Praveen. I will relax today. Yeah, relax. <laughs> All the points I will open. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right yes. up. Please. Come. Okay. I think in India, it has made me think a little bit more about my body. Both the hand here. Now slowly turn your neck one side. Inhale. I don't wake up in pain here, I must admit. The warm weather, I suppose, keeps my body a little bit more supple. Bend your neck, not, not, don't move. Oh, I see, bend your neck. Bend your neck, just bend yeah. your neck. Try to touch this ears, yeah. like that. your shoulder, okay? Don't lift your shoulder. Yeah. Now, touch your elbows in front of your chest. Move as slow as possible. Keep always a smile on your face. Yeah, perfect. Hard to concentrate and smile at the same time. <laughs> Since I've started doing yoga, um, I do feel a lot better. And, um, you know, if I was here for good, that's the sort of thing I would do every morning. It's got to be a great benefit to me in the future. Are you feeling the stretch at your chest yeah, and yeah. your shoulder yeah. and your biceps? Yeah. OK? Relax. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Keep in touch. Before Praveen departs, Bob's got one last request. Uh, do you play cricket? Yeah. Do you? You want to play cricket with me? Well, no, no. We want you on our team, us from the Havali, um, playing AJ's team yes. over at the cricket club. And um, we'd love you on our team. Yeah, because definitely, I will come. Really, well I'm telling you, I'm very good in playing. Oh, well, we need you. Yeah. Thank you Thank very you. much. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank heavens he says he can play cricket. We've got a chance now. I think we'll stick him in as opening batsman and hope he gets a century. It's the group's last day in Udaipur. Now I'm going to miss her. I mean, look at the view. I mean, that's what I would miss. I miss everything. The people, the noise. I love the noise in the city. Love it. Beep, 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 beep. So still. I'll miss the water. Every morning when I wake up, I look out of my window, and there's this beautiful lake. It's, uh, it's all very evocative. I'll miss all of that. 
Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are you all packed? I am packed. Whoa! Before coming together for their Indian adventure a month ago, the senior citizens were mostly strangers. My highlight of everything is to meet new friends. We've had a lovely time together. We've, we've, had, no, we've had no big arguments or no nothing. And I think we've, we've found new friends, and I hope we stay that way. Well, I'll drink to that. My favourite day was when we went to that village and we were having a festival. I'm going to tell you the worst moment of my oh, time here, first of all, was when I saw all you lot really? at the Navratri Festival, dressed up. I didn't mind too much the skirts or the colourful outfits, but it was the hats. <laughs> I, honestly, I, I walked and I saw you, I thought, I cannot go out with these oldies <laughs> dressed like you were dressed. Hello, hello, hello. All set? Are we going up? That's so exciting. Good. <laughs> Today, the group are hosting a cricket match and farewell party for everyone they've met during their stay. This will be like a jumble sale. Right, what's going on here? Let me put these here. Jeanette, they're not for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you fold them up to me. <laughs> Hat, that's that. Jacket. It ought to be a blazer, but it'll have to do. As Stanley prepares for his role as team captain... What else do I need? I might need a phrase book. You, you might have to ask, how's that? In Hindi. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one to learn. Give us your sugar. You want three ounces of sugar. Keen cooks Sid and Ian are whipping up some scones for the party. We're playing Rajasthan's finest. I bet they're in for a fright when they see the secret weapon we've got. Ever so English, you know. Scones and jam. We've got bloody Stanley. Oh, yes. Mary Baker, eat your heart out. <laughs> that is hot. Ten past. With a better luck, something will happen in there. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty minutes across town is the venue for today's game. It's a nice day here at the Oval. Oh. What do you think of this? I'm here. It's a bit of me. Well, I thought you were underneath me. I thought you slipped between my legs. Oh, my Lord, here she comes. I've never dressed so badly in my life. You dressed perfect, perfectly. <laughs> Before taking to the field, the group needs to prep for the post-match party. Oh. I'll miss the crowd. We've had a great laugh. As you get older, you realise that company is a great thing. Well, they just come. Yeah, that's what we made. Yeah. The company here's marvellous. We've got life in us. All this lot have. And just thoroughly enjoying life, even over 70. It's got a very kindergarten sure feel, hasn't it? <laughs> leave the crust yeah, well, on. No, that's so uncouth. Oh, leave the crust oh, on. Yeah. The Queen doesn't have crust, mm -hmm. do you? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll take away, um, really, nine people living together from different walks of life. This is the highlight of his this whole trip. This is the highlight of his trip. You know, we've got a politician, we've got two actresses, two comedians. Look at him, it's like a gorilla. He's going like that. And myself, um, I'm the odd one out. I was going to show you. I knew how to hold a frigging bat. Uh, oh, All right, on, come then. on then, come on, you show us. No, that's wrong. For that's a start. It's not. Stephanie, I thought she'd be tricky, and um, she hasn't been. And she is a really nice person. Wide. Who are you calling wide? I feel everybody's got on really well. Hey, hey, you, you've come. Well done. I'm coming to meet you. Yeah, we need you. <laughs> I'm coming. But I tell you what I'm not very good at. What? Go on. Well, any of it, really. Warm up over. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. The team are ready to face their rivals. Where's our opponents got to? Are they frightened already? Oh, my oh, Lord. Hi, there is the man. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Lovely God, to see you. you. Oh, my God. Everybody fantastic. looks in that great Oh, we're professional. No, oh, nice my to God. See you. Bob, lovely to see you. Cricket club veteran AJ is captaining the opposition, made up of the group's new friends. Hand on knees in the front, go on. AJ, you tell the rules. And everybody has to say chapati. Hey. Chapati. 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 
today is the last of many, many wonderful days, and we are going to, would you believe it, to field a team. Okay, that's, that's it. Let's go. Let's make a start. This, of course, in the land of cricket. Well done. Okay. That's... AJ, you've won. We decided to field. As, wow, you're going to let us as, bat first. Yes. As we went last This is long, the tradition you... of India that we have to give a chance to visitors. Go on, Stanley. Right, we mean business. First into bat, lifelong cricket fan, 77-year-old Stanley. He's sort of like Paddington Bear, isn't he? <laughs> be in the telegraph tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. hey, oh. oh, bloody hell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yes, one. Oh, go, 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 Oh, good. Okay, I'm out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well done. Thank you. Who's coming on now? Oh, it's Jeanette, the real professional. I think they're waiting for you. Go on, on you go. <laughs> go on, Jeanette. Go on, Jeanette. For novice Jeanette, it's her first time at the crease. I understand nothing about this. You don't this. need to understand. You just get the bat and flag everybody, whoever comes in your way. That's it. That's the way to do it. Oh. <laughs> run, 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 run! I think the pads are stopping the running. <laughs> oh! Oh! I... Come on, my man. Give us your best shot. Oh. Is he out? Is he out? Oh. Mm. You didn't have to go to the toilet once. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's the score? 18 less. 18? <laughs> For how many wickets? Five wickets. Now it's my turn. Am I do I go out here? Is this it? Come on, step in! Come on, step in! God help the bloke, the balls are out. Oh, you get a mouthful. <laughs> Don't you think you can scare me? Oh, she's hit it. That's good. Oh, oh, my hat! Well done, Steph! India's got under my skin. But <laughs> this has been monumentally good, and it's been so enriching in a spiritual and physical way. No! Oh. Oh. <laughs> she's out. <laughs> Thank you. That's me. Susie George is our last man in. Hi! And she is facing the bowler for the very first time in her life. What's been wonderful is to be able to be amongst the people of India and be one of them. I can't believe I'm doing this. Lady. Come on! <laughs> oh, nearly. Everybody in their lifetime should share the experience of India. Oh, my God. Fantastic! Oh. No, was it out? That's it. We are out. Well played. How many did we get? 30. 30. Clap them in. That should take about 10 minutes then. With 30 runs to beat, the home team step into bat. Jeanette, we need you. We're fielding now. After the batting comes the fielding. Right, on your toes, everybody. Good, good. Are you getting it on me? Come on, oh. Serena. Oh. Throw, throw, throw! Come on, Selena. In India, they do live very much in the moment. We're on this planet but once, and age is something that we all have to go through. It's like Dad's army. I'm learning to accept age a little more readily, to be thankful. Catch it! Yes. Oh. 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 Run, 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 run! Well stops it! To just enjoy my life. Well played, Selina. You know, the things that I've concerned myself about or worried about really are not worth the worry. Just a singer. They have won. Well done. We have been 
comprehensively beaten. Well done. Defeated by the better side. We much enjoyed it. Thank you very much. It is good building, yeah. Did they get 31 runs then? Uh, 32. All oh, right. They only beat us by one. <laughs> When my head hits the pillow on that first night back in the UK, I will, I think, remember the spectacular um, heritage which India has to offer. Udaipur is one of the jewels in the crown. Now let's have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Game over, a farewell party for the friends they've made over the last month. <laughs> Get up. How are you? Oh, thanks for coming. It's been, it's been a great way of saying goodbye. It's sad, you know, we've made great friends over here and everybody's so nice. <laughs> I'm so pleased to see people that helped us along this journey in India. Yeah, great. Loved it. Everyone we've met you in the four weeks here, a lot of them are here tonight. What more can you wish for? You know, but like all journeys, got to come to an end. Hey ho! Look, this is it. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been forced to. Uh... <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Un unaccustomed as I am to public speaking, um, this a bit out of tune, but here we go. And the thing is, it's a song that I learned years ago and it's going to take you back because if we'd have been playing cricket when we were teenagers i think we'd have been a lot better wouldn't we oh that sounds bad this month is definitely a month i will never forget each time we have a quarrel it almost broke my heart my pass forward is really really happy each night I ask the stars up above all together. Why must I be in love? Lovely. One day I what a sweet song. I've always loved it. I know all the lyrics. Isn't that sad? All together. Why must I be in love? I cried a tear. It hasn't just given me a shot of adrenaline. <laughs> I have been overwhelmed by an energy that's risen up in me. Retirees, if anything, India has made me feel so alive. Last time! Why must I be a teenager in love, in love, in love? That'll do. Oh, well done, Go on. Now, if you want to make me cry, that won't be so hard to do. And if you should say goodbye, I'm still gonna love